right now is the happiest I've ever been in my life. But the second happiest I've ever been was when I was in a probation approved rehab. It was relieving. It was almost like a, a protection. And this was not a rehab that was kosher, like, you know, really awesome promises Malibu with, you know, Charlie Sheen hanging out. It was, it was raw. I couldn't have felt more at home. I didn't have a license, didn't have a car, but I also didn't have any, any real responsibility, any real pressure. It had been years since I'd taken the time to actually sit down and assess my life and I wasn't happy, which is you know, why I was drinking and why I wound up in that situation. But I will say it's an interesting, it's an interesting stat to, 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 to be happy when you're you know, at your lowest, to be, to be in that moment where you know change is taking place and it's really, really uncomfortable. It's super, it's, it's hard. I don't like being uncomfortable. I didn't like being uncomfortable. But once I got comfortable being uncomfortable, things got better. And I was able to start to see the cycles in my life, the cycles of things that I used to do that caused me a lot of trouble and a lot of heartache. And it felt good to get rid of not get rid of, but break those cycles that seem so difficult to break when you can't see them. Because when you're inside of it, you, you can't see it. You gotta step outside of it to see it. And unfortunately for me, stepping outside of it meant a huge wake up call with a horrible accident and breaking my neck and dying in ambulance. It's very dramatic, you know, very dramatic. For some people, their car gets towed and that's it, they wake up. For me, it was a lot, lot more difficult. I was stubborn, really stubborn. So the message of this, this is, is that during those transformational periods in your life, when things get really, really hard, it's not a bad thing. It, it, feels, like, it feels like a bad thing. It feels, it feels difficult. It feels like you're, like you're being hurt or like you're hurting inside, but all that hurt inside eventually manifests into change once you accept it. And once you accept it and you talk about it and you work on it, then you start to see those patterns and you start to change those patterns and then life starts to get better. It's a new path. And it's not, it's not a cycle anymore, it's an actual path that you're moving along. Like you're growing versus unconscious in a cycle every day waking up and dying. So for all of you that are combating challenges, emotional, mental health challenges, keep going. Reaching out for help is not a bad thing. It's, it's, it's not, there's a stigma to it, or there was when I was going through it. I didn't want to reach out for help. I was very stubborn and that hurt me, that, that, that was something that I, I should have done. I should have reached out for help. I was, I was going through a lot and um, you know, I had a lot of um, sick ego that stopped me from reaching out to say, hey, you know, I really need some help and um, could have saved me a lot of trouble, but I had to learn the way I learned because that was how I got to the bottom. And sometimes you gotta go through hell to come back up and um, for you I hope that doesn't happen but the lesson is transformational times can be grueling they can be very difficult but when you're through those times you're gonna look back on them and you're gonna look back on them fondly just like I do recovery I look back and say that six months I spent in that rehab was the best six months I had ever spent in my life I wish I had done it at 21 years old and that would have that would have changed a lot for me that would have changed a lot for me. But I'm happy with where I am. And I've accepted where I am. And before recovery, I don't think I could have done that. So this message is one of motivation, one to say you can get through it. I was in, in, in the depths of hell. And um, I don't think it gets a lot lower than, than where I was at. 
and now I have a great life, fantastic life. It took time. It's going to get harder. It's going to get harder before it gets easier. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to get harder when you stop, especially if you're in, in, in a cycle of addiction. When you quit, it doesn't get easier. It doesn't just magically go away. It actually gets harder because the chemical's gone. And now you got to deal with all those raw emotions on your own. you got to deal with all that you have suppressed by using drugs and alcohol all those years to come to the surface and you don't have that chemical to reach for anymore you don't have that that alcohol to reach for to, to calm you down to give you that warm hug to make you feel better you gotta get through it on your own and that's why you've got to get help because it's so easy to go back it's so easy to go back to that chemical so I urge you to ask for help if you need help and you're struggling there are resources out there and um, just humble yourself, ask for the help, and uh, try not to go through hell before you uh, get back up to the top. It's a lot easier.